And the scripture says here, even if an angel materializes and gives you any other good news than that which we have given you, you're to count the angel damned. Does that give you some idea of how strongly the Word of God speaks on the subject of other Gospels? We are warned again, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, I am afraid for you, verse 3, that as the serpent tripped Eve through his subtlety, your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if somebody comes and preaches another Jesus, another spirit, another gospel, you might well go along with it. So we are warned about a counterfeit Jesus, counterfeit Holy Spirit, counterfeit gospel, counterfeit apostles, verse 13, counterfeit ministers, and all of them are under satanic control. They are his ministers, says the scripture. And they are transformed to look like Christians. And don't marvel at this, says the Apostle Paul. Satan himself is transformed as an angel of light. It is no great thing if his ministers are transformed to look like the ministers of righteousness. It is possible to use the name Jesus. It is possible to use the term gospel. It is possible to say Holy Spirit. It is possible to quote the Bible. It is possible to speak of Christian baptism. It is possible to go through all of the outward appearances of Christianity. And Jesus says, when I meet those kind of people, I will say, I never knew you. Leave me, workers of iniquity. Why does he say it? Because they are not worshipers of the living God. They are not servants of Christ. They do not know him as their Lord and as their Savior. They have appropriated the vocabulary of Christianity, but they have never believed in Jesus Christ as their true Savior and Lord. You can have all of these outward appearances, and you can be lost, says the Scripture. Galatians chapter 1. Galatians, the first chapter. We read the words of the Apostle Paul in a very important context. Said the Apostle, writing to a young Christian church, verse 6, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you to the grace of Christ to another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we are an angel out of heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached, let him be accursed. As we said before, verse 9, so I now say again, if anyone preach any other gospel unto you than that which you have received, let him be accursed. There was a di divine anathema or damnation pronounced upon people who perverted the gospel of Christ. 